Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. Got 13 matchups on this NBA slate today, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. We just hit 20k subs yesterday, guys, which is awesome, and uh, working our way to 20.1k subs, so go ahead and keep that up. And uh, check out all my betting links under the description below. Great promos with BetMGM. Get up to 1500 in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win, so go ahead and check that out. A lot of great boosts and promos for NBA as well in a lot of these sports books. And a lot of action today, guys. Busy slate. 13 matchups, starting with the Cleveland Cavaliers versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers opening up as a three and a half point home favorite with the over under at 219 and a half. Cavs coming into this matchup 46 and 32. The Clippers 49 and 28. Head-to-head, -head, the Clippers are 6-4 and four in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, still no Kawhi Leonard for the Clippers. Uh, Cleveland coming off a Lakers loss, 97-116 to 116 yesterday. Just a brutal loss for the Cavs. Then the Clippers, they're coming off a big Utah win, 131-102. to 102. Uh, They're playing very good right now. This, last, this little stretch, they're on 5-1 and one in their last 6. Cleveland... 1-6 covering on the road against the Clippers. 1-6 covering on the road. They have not been good on the road. Um, yeah, I like the Clippers here. Um, bad losses for Cleveland. Tough tough two-game stretch. And uh, not going to get any easier against the Clippers here. I think I'm going to take the Clippers minus 3.5 and, and money line at home. Next matchup, we got the Houston Rockets versus the Dallas Mavericks. Dallas opening up as an eight-point home favorite with the over/under at 227. Houston coming into this matchup 38 and 39. Dallas 47 and 30. Head-to-head -head Dallas eight and two in the last ten head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, they've been very good against Houston here. Uh, Luca missed the last game. We'll see if he plays today. Hopefully he does. Houston they're on a four-game losing streak. It started with the Mavs losing 125 to 107. Uh, Dallas on a two-game winning streak, nine and one in their last ten. Mavs are playing some of the best basketball right now. Uh, Houston one and five against Dallas, so they've not been good head-to-head -head here. The unders hit in ten of the last fifteen on the road against Dallas, so maybe the unders are a good play. I'm just going to assume Luca was out last game, hoping Luca plays again today. But uh, Houston bad stretch, bad stretch right now for them and. Uh, yeah, the Mavs dominated Houston in that last game. Give me the Mavs minus eight in money line at home. Next matchup, we've got the Miami Heat versus the Indiana Pacers. Pacers opening up as a one and a half point home favorite with the over under at 227 and a half. Heat coming into this matchup 43 and 34. Pacers 44 and 35. Miami six and four in the last 10 head to head meetings. Miami coming off a Houston win. Um, yeah, four and one of their last five playing pretty well right now. Pacers also coming off a big OKC win, uh, but that was without SGA. So, um, Tyler Halliburton is questionable in this matchup. So be sure to check his status. Miami 13 and seven against the Pacers five and one on the road. So they've been a good road team here. Um, heat underdogs on the road. They're playing well. Halliburton questionable. Um, definitely if he's out. Uh, not going to be great for the Pacers, but I like the Heat as a dog here. And um, a winnable game for them on the road. I'll take the Heat plus one and a half in this spot. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Bulls versus the Orlando Magic. Magic opening up as a seven and a half point home favorite with the over-under at 210. Bulls coming into this matchup 37 and 40. The Magic 45 and 32. Head-to-head, -head, the Magic 6-4 and four in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Chicago um, coming off a Knicks win. The Magic coming off a bad Charlotte loss. That was just a horrible loss from Charlotte, or for, for the Magic here. Um, I expect a big bounce back for Orlando. Chicago is just 1-5 against the Magic. 1-5 covering against the Magic. Uh, so they have not been good against Orlando here. Orlando, the unders hit in 14 of the last 20 against Chicago, so maybe the under is a good play today. Um, yeah, I expect a big bounce back for Orlando. Give me the Magic minus 7.5 and money line at home. 
Next matchup, we've got the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Phoenix Suns. Suns opening up as a six-point home favorite with the over-under at 222. Pelicans coming into the, into this matchup 45 and 32. The Suns 46 and 31. Head to head, the Suns 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Uh, I see Zion is questionable for the Pelicans, so be sure to check his status. Uh, the Pelicans, they're on a four game losing streak. Uh, yeah, tough stretch for the Pelicans here. They just haven't looked right. Phoenix coming, uh, Phoenix just beat them three games ago, 124 to 111. They're on a three game winning streak. Pelicans 1 and 4 covering on the road against Phoenix here. The overs hit in Phoenix's last six of the last seven against the Pelicans. So maybe the over could be a play today. And uh, yeah, they beat up on them last time. I still think I'm going to take the Suns minus six in money line at home today. Next matchup, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Charlotte Hornets. Thunder opening up as a nine point road favorite with the over under at 219. Thunder coming into this matchup 52 and 25. The Hornets 19 and 58. Head to head, Charlotte 2 and 1 in the last three head to head meetings. Okay, see, on a three game losing streak, bad stretch for them. No SGA for a while. Don't know how long he's going to be out. Jaden Williams questionable. So OKC has got their injuries here. Uh, Charlotte coming off a big magic win. You know, they are just 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Even with the injuries, really still is tough to trust this Charlotte team. I know OKC has been on a tough three-game stretch here, especially without SGA. Um, the unders hit in six of the last six on the road. Or OKC against Charlotte. So maybe the unders will play with those injuries. I still like Thunder to get a win. They got enough talent. They can get the win. Haven't it's, We really haven't seen Charlotte um, really get two wins in a row very often this season. If not any. Coming off a magic win. Give me the Thunder minus nine and money line on the road for a nice, nice win for them. Next matchup. We got the Portland Trailblazers versus the Boston Celtics. Boston opening up as a 16-point home favorite with the over-under at 216. Portland coming into this matchup 21-56. and 56. Boston 61-16. and 16. Head-to-head Boston 7-3 and three in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Um, Boston Tatum's questionable, so is Brown. Hopefully they both suit up today. Portland on a two-game winning streak coming off a Washington win. Boston on a four-game winning streak, coming off a one-point Sacramento win. Portland, 6-13 and 13 on the road against Boston. 1-4 and four against Boston here. Boston, 10-0 and 0 at home. 13-6 and 6 at home against Portland here. Yeah, I mean, I expect a big win for Boston. Check their injury report, though, but uh, I still think I'm going to roll with Boston minus 16. Throw them in your teasers as well today in Moneyline Parlays. Next matchup, we've got the Washington Wizards versus the Toronto Raptors. Toronto opening up as a four and a half point home favorite with the over under at 230 and a half. Wizards coming into this matchup 15 and 63. Toronto 24 and 53. Head to head Toronto 7 and 3 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Um, Washington. On a two-game losing streak coming off a Portland loss. They, had to beat, they did beat Toronto by three in their last meeting. Toronto finally getting a win. Coming off a big Bucks win as underdogs. Um, haven't seen them get two wins in a long time here. So, you know, they were, they were due for a win. But I don't really think they're going to be building up any kind of win streak or anything. Uh, this is a very bad Toronto team. They're 0-11 covering at home. Um, one in 15 in their last 16, one in 15 in their last 16. That's just as bad as it gets here. I'm going to play the numbers game and just assume they don't get two in a row here. Give me Washington plus four and a half on the road. Next matchup, we've got the New York Knicks versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks opening up as a four point home favorite with the over under at 220. Knicks coming into this matchup 45 and 32. The Bucks 47 and 30. Head to head, the Bucks nine and one in the last ten head to head meetings. The Knicks one and four in their last five, coming off a Bulls loss. The Bucks, they're a mess. They're coming off a Toronto loss, Memphis and Washington loss. 
that's definitely the worst three game stretch you could really possibly go on in professional sports so i don't know what's up with milwaukee they have not looked good uh you know they've had injuries Giannis is questionable but it's just unacceptable they have not played well um the Knicks haven't been good against the Bucs here, but you just can't trust the Bucs here. Can't do it. Knicks are a great team. Give me the Knicks plus four on the road. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the San Antonio Spurs. Sixers opening up as a five and a half point road favorite with the over under at 227. Sixers coming into this matchup 43 and 35. The Spurs 19 and 58. Head-to-head -head Philly, 9-1 and one in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Uh, the Sixers on a four-game winning streak, coming off a Memphis win. Spurs coming off a Pelicans win. Um, let's see, Tobias Harris is questionable. Don't say anything about Embiid. So I think Embiid and Maxi should be good to go today, barring anything crazy. Sixers 9-1 and one against the Spurs. 6-1 and one covering on the road here. And as long as they got Embiid and Maxi here, they're a really good team when they're healthy. 6-0 and oh covering the spread here. I'm going to take the Sixers minus 5.5 and, and money line on the road in this one. Next matchup, we got the Sacramento Kings versus the Brooklyn Nets. Kings opening up as an 8-point road favorite with the over-under at 217.5. Kings coming into this matchup 44-33. and 33. The Nets 31-47. and 47. Head-to-head -head Brooklyn, 6-4 and four in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Sacramento on a two-game losing streak, coming off a Boston loss. Brooklyn on a two-game winning streak, coming off a Detroit win. Sacramento, they are 4-1 and one against Brooklyn. 4-1 and one covering against Brooklyn here, so they've been very good against them. Tough little two-game stretch against the Knicks and, and the Celtics here, but... Uh, I like them to bounce back here. They've been very good head-to-head. -head. The unders hit in six of the last seven at home against Sacramento, so maybe the unders could, is a good play today. And yeah, I think I'm going to take the Kings minus eight in money line on the road here. Next matchup, we got the Utah Jazz versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up as an 11.5 point home favorite with the over-under at 227. Jazz coming into this matchup 29 and 48. The Warriors 42 and 35. Head to head, the Warriors 8 and 2 in the last 10 head to head meetings. Utah, they've lost their last 10 plus. It's been brutal for Utah. They've just been horrible. Warriors coming off a two point Dallas loss. Yeah, Utah 0 and 6 covering against the Warriors. 0 and 6 on the road against the Warriors. They've not been good against Golden State here. This looks like a great spot for the Warriors. No Curry. So keep that in mind. But with no Curry, I think they'll be all right against this Jazz team. They should be able to still get the win. That spread does concern me without Curry. Um, so do what you want with that spread. Utah, they've been getting blown out. Their last three games, they've gotten beat by like 20 plus. So do what you want with that spread. Uh, they've just been horrible. I would... I'd still take a shot with the Warriors minus 11 and a half. Not in love with it, but I just don't want to back the Jazz with how bad they've been. So we'll take a shot with the Warriors minus 11 and a half and money line at home. Then the last matchup, we've got the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers opening up as a two-point home favorite with the over-under at 220. Minnesota coming into this matchup 53 and 24. The Lakers 46 and 33. Head-to-head, -head, Minnesota 6-4 and four in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings. Minnesota coming off a Phoenix loss. Lakers on a four-game winning streak. They're 9-1 and one in their last 10. They're pretty hot right now. Coming off a Cleveland win. We'll see if LeBron and AD play. One of them might be out. They're, they're coming off a back-to-back. -back. You know how that goes. Minnesota 4-1 and one covering on the road. This is a tough one. Um... I think I gotta roll the Lakers. Lakers are hot right now. Nine and one in their last 10. They're really getting it done. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully LeBron and AD play. I'm sure one will probably be out, but more than capable. They've had a lot of games during this run where they've one of them's been missing. And the Lakers are hot right now. And um, I think I'm gonna take a shot with the Lakers minus two and money line at home today. That's gonna be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.